Hey friends, I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to Cooks App. So, in today's episode, we are going to try out a very healthy recipe, oats cutlet. So, oats are very nutritious, right? They are high in fiber and antioxidants and they help lower cholesterol levels and blood sugar levels. So, today we are going to make oats cutlet. Let's get into the recipe. So, let's take a look at the ingredients. I've taken two cups of rolled oats. Rolled oats are much more healthier than instant oats. So, take rolled oats or steel cut oats. Next, I finely chopped one carrot. And uh, next, I'm taking half a boiled potato or a small boiled potato. You don't need too much. Next, I've taken five French beans and I've chopped them up finely. And almost quarter cup of boiled peas if you're taking the fresher variety i suggest that you boil it once and then use it next i'm taking one tablespoon of tomato sauce prefer tomato sauce okay because in tomato ketchup there is onion and garlic so take tomato sauce and then one teaspoon of chili paste or you can use two medium sized green chilies since we're not adding garlic i've taken one tablespoon of finely chopped ginger for digestion and these are the ingredients so first of all we'll be uh, roasting the oats dry roasting the oats and uh, then we'll be using it roasting the oats uh, considerably reduces the cooking time we need to cook the oats so let's dry roast the oats first so i've taken a kadai and i've kept the flame in low and i'm adding the oats to it and I'm going to dry roast it in low flame. So uh, there are actually two main reasons why we uh, dry roast the oats. First of all, uh, it reduces the cooking time. And second, oats and many of the whole grain cereals, they contain a chemical called phytic acid. So uh, phytic acid has many uh, benefits and there are certain cons to it as well. Benefits are the ones that we know that it helps control the cholesterol level and the blood sugar levels. Uh, the negative part is that uh, it controls the level of iron absorption. Like it reduces the uh, level of iron absorption if it's higher in amount. So uh, heating the oats before uh, using it reduces the phytic acid content to a moderate level. So, uh, see the oats, now it has become a very light brown color and you know it started emitting a nice aroma. So, that means the raw smell has gone away and now it's time to take it off the flame. Put it into your mixy jar and uh, pulse it 4 to 5 times so that you get a nice flour out of it. So, I'll show you. This is the texture of the flour oats flour that we've created and uh, what I'm going to do is this whole flour I'm not going to use it fully for making the filling what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it into three fourth and one fourth one fourth for making the outer coating of the cutlet and rest I'm going to use it for the cooking purpose so after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a kadai and to it I'm adding a little bit of coconut oil and I'm adding in a few chopped curry leaves to it it gives a nice aroma and taste too also. So I've added the curry leaves and then next I'm going to add in the chopped ginger. And I'm just going to stir it. Next I'm going to add in the chopped carrot. So like many people used to ask me okay like what is the difference between uh, oats sticky and oats cutlet i'll be getting onto it soon so let's make the filling and in between that i'll tell you the difference so i have added the uh, carrot and i'm going to just mix it well after stirring for about two to three minutes i'm reduce the flame and i'm going to add in my beans so for people who don't uh, prefer to use oil for cooking, I suggest that uh, you either boil the vegetables and then add to it. So you just need a little bit of oil, much more lesser than this. One teaspoon will be enough. So I'm going to cook my beans also for two minutes. 
नेक्स्ट आई एम हैडिंग इन वन फोर्थ टी स्पून ऑफ टर्मरिक पाउडर डोंट एड टू मच बिकॉज इन कटलेट दिस इज द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ टर्मरिक पाउडर गिव इट अ स्टर नेक्स्ट गोज इन द कुड पीस सो एज आई मैंशन डॉलिया इफ यू यूजिंग फ्रेश ग्रीन पीस डू कुक इट अ लिटल बिट लाइक बॉयल इट इन वॉटर फॉर टू टू थ्री मिनट्स एंड देन यूज इट Next, we are going to mix in the oats, like the three-fourth amount of oats that I've kept. I'm going to add it. And I'm going to give it a very good mix. Do take care that once you add the oats, you have to keep the flame very low. Otherwise, it will stick to the bottom. And next, I'm going to slowly add water. For two cups of oats, I'm going to add almost one and one fourth cup of water. You can add it accordingly. I think maximum of one and a half cups of water will be needed. Add the water slowly and keep mixing. Do remember to keep the flame in low. Just cook it for a few minutes. See, even after. adding this much water it's like mine has started to stick to the bottom so do take care but don't add too much water because your oats can become soggy next i'm going to add in the mashed potato we just need a little bit of potato for it uh, because you know we are making a healthy oats and like too much potato is not good for uh, people with diabetes so just mash the potato and add it Next what I'm going to add in is the tomato sauce. It gives a very nice uh, sour taste to it, okay? It's optional. You can add it for getting a good taste. Next, 1 teaspoon of green chili paste. You can add it. You can add green chilies too. 1 teaspoon of garam masala. My children don't like too much masala, hence I'm not adding coriander powder. You can add it if you like. Next, I'm adding in pepper powder, one teaspoon of pepper powder. For cutlet, we usually don't add red chili powder. Okay, mostly green chili paste and pepper powder is preferred. Next, I'm adding the salt and give it a good mix. And just before taking it off the flame, add coriander leaves, chopped coriander leaves. It gives a very good taste to the oats cutlet. So I've shaped almost six cutlets. I still have remaining dough. I can, I think, I can make almost five more cutlets from that. In another plate, I've taken corn flour paste and the rest of the oats flour that we have powdered. So I'm going to give my cutlet a coating of the corn flour paste, and then I'm going to dip it in the oats flour. Give it a good mix. A good coating is needed because you need the cutlet. crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside so you need to give a good coating so like ah let's get into the point many people used to ask me what's the difference between oats sticky and oats cutlet so the difference is that for oats sticky you don't have a outer layer of corn flour paste and then a layer of bread crumbs or oats flour you just make the dough like this and then you keep it on a tawa and you shallow fry it whereas for a cutlet it's much more deep fried and has a layer of uh, corn flour paste or egg wash if you're preferring non vegetarian you can add egg wash to it so this is the main difference okay so anyway a tikki is much more healthier than a cutlet on the amount of oil based on the amount of oil that it consumes so if you want it much more healthier i suggest that you make the same dough and make tikki out of it but you know since it's made out of oats why not give your palate a different taste once you make tikki one time next time you try out a cutlet so i've made a batch of coated cutlets and next we are going to fry them so in a flat base kadai i've taken oil enough oil so that the cutlets you know half of the cutlet sinks in I suggest that uh, you know don't reuse oil much. So just use the correct amount of oil. And once it gets hot, I'm going to add in the cutlets. 
so keep the flame in moderate okay medium flame because if you keep it on high there are chances like the cutlet doesn't get cooked in the inside so keep the flame in moderate so that you don't get a too much browned cutlet but you get a correct amount of crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside cutlet so after 2 minutes i'm going to flip over my cutlet so another thing that i'd like to bring into your notice is the usual cutlets are dark brown in color but oats cutlet you don't get too much brown oats cutlet you keep it in moderate flame you get a very light brown oats cutlet so once it gets cooked i'm going to plate it so you can have it with uh, tomato sauce or you can have it with green chutney i'm not in a mood to make green chutney right now so you know i'm going to eat it with tomato sauce i'll show you I hope you can see it. See. Now it's soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. I'm going to eat it. Mm. 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 Super. So, I hope that you try out this cutlet and you do tell me what all went right, what all went wrong, how it tasted. and if you have any different varieties to it do mail me and do write in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button for such more recipes thank you